Hey, hey, hey. Happy New Year. Happy brand new year. Yes, come on in. It's just about one o'clock. Hey, Sean. Happy New Year. Good to see you here. We missed you Saturday night. Come on in. Join me. We're going to look at the energy focus of 2018. We're going to pick an animal totem and we're going to do a meditation to really open up to this full moon energy. What a glorious day to start the new year on. How are you feeling? Let me know below. Let me know. Hey, A, how are you? Happy New Year. How's everybody feeling? Hungover? <laughs> not me. I was in my PJs last night. Nope, not me. Slept really good. All toasty warm in my bed. Yeah. And greeted this new year with so much excitement. Really did. Did some cards on my own this morning. Going to draw my animal totems later with my daughter. But we're going to draw them on air now. I've picked some really awesome ones that came forward. We're going to look at those too. All right. Come on in. Let me know how you're feeling. Hopeful, excited, frustrated. Glad to be done with 2017. I'm glad to be done, but I also had a really good year. So I'm feeling both of those. What is it for you? How does this year find you as we start? We've got this amazing full moon coming in tonight. Super close. Excited. All right. Yay, Sean. I have been feeling it for the last several days. Having trouble sleeping. Finally, really, I think after a few days of doing lots of meditation, ascending, being with my teachers and my groups, that I really was able to really, to really let it go to really release the stress, ha, huh, sleep deep, and then now I feel, I feel really refreshed. I really do. All right, I'm looking for it on Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and share it out. Here we go. Maybe you know somebody that could use some of this energy. Go ahead, send it on over to them. That would be super helpful. I appreciate it. All right, on the timeline, let me get it in the group. Yes, come on over and join the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. We've had a lot of fun in there, people posting information, sharing what we do, really just coming together and supporting each other. Here we go. All right, shared it to the group. Maybe you'll share it somewhere too so we can get started. I've got one more I'm going to share right here. Ha! Ah, I am excited to be in a new year. I've enjoyed my, here we go. I've enjoyed my several days of pajamas. How about you guys? What have you been able to do these last couple of days? John, I know you had to work. Hey, were you in Indiana? Where have you guys been? All right, yay. Got it shared. All right. So I see some excitement in the group. I see people excited to come in. Yes, I know I am. So let's just start first and foremost by talking about what this brand new energy is all about. All right, so we talk about it as being a master year. I know you probably have heard about that. You've been talking about it online. So that equals the numbers. If you add the 2018 together, 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8 equals 11. All right, and 11 is a master number. Now, we don't necessarily have to reduce it down to one digit, which would be a 2. We'll talk about that too. But an 11 year really amplifies the energy of last year. All right, last year we had lots of chaos, lots of confusion, lots of discord, but we also had people come forward. We had people step up to the plate. We've had people speak out. We've had people really open up to who they are. So we're going to magnify that energy even greater this year. That's what that master energy is all about. Ones are about leadership, personal power, spiritual truths. All right, and then when we have that one come in, that magnifies that energy out there for us. So for many of us, it's going to be continuing on doing what we're doing. And for others, it's about, wow, taking that next step up. How exciting is that? Really taking it up, opening the voice. All right, really important. Elevens bring us about that freedom to really express, to open up, to be a part of a bigger picture and to see ourselves with a greater awareness and a greater consciousness helping to serve mankind, helping us to serve humanity. Yay. Hey, Sam, this is what gets me super excited about going into this year. And then we have that full moon energy, all right? Got my full moon selenite ball here. We've got that full moon. So it's full tonight. So we still have between right now and tonight to really put those intentions out. It's close to the earth. It's emanating. It's filling with light. So when we put our intentions out there, we're at the highest capacity. Now, tomorrow and the next day and the next day, that's when we start to release the excess. But right now, 
we really want to open up to all those dreams and wishes. We're in, the, we're in the season of winter. That's about our dreams and our visions. And we start that going. Hey, Valerie, happy new year. We really do. We open to that. Now, Cancer, that's my sign. It's a water sign. All right. That's where that emotional body comes into play. That's where that energy comes forward. Also, I like to talk about in the emotional waters, also seen as consciousness too. So that's where that consciousness of who we are comes forward right now. That's what we open up the year, the caring, the compassion, the really understanding, the really getting into that feeling of who we are and what we are and what we're doing in this lifetime. Really big, really important, really helping us to take that deep, deep introspective look into our lives, into how we fit in around. And as, I've been as I will be talking about all year, how do we take this out into the world? How do we take this out into our everyday life? Really important. Really, really important. And the universe is with us. You know, we talked with um, Laurie Zelensky. Where's Laurie this morning? Z Girl Astrology talked about, even at back at the winter solstice, how aligning with that galactic center that really opens us up to even a deeper part and supports us to open up to that deeper part to evolve, to take it to the next step. That is exactly the energy going forward because we need it. We need it. We need it. We need leaders out there. Things are changing. Healthcare is changing. Everything is changing. So for us to step up, speak it up, step it up, get on our soapboxes and help humanity right now with modalities, with finding other ways to heal, with really helping people get to the core of what's going on. I mean, my belief is underneath those physical ailments are unresolved emotional things. All right. When our emotional body is stuck, we get stuck. So as we help others to learn this, to work with it, we help to raise the vibration. Now, there's another word for me I love. Looking up uh, numerology and just all the things I've studied, one of the things, especially like with the tarot, right? But 11 also resonates to that energy and that word of vibration. It really opens up that portal, that gateway of energy, especially today, one, the universal year of 11, the day of one, the month of one, 1 p.m., hello. All of that opens up that portal. When we do align with that, we can be supported in what we want to do. We're not working against the grain. We're going forward. We're allowing. That is the word I have chosen for this year. Allow. That's how we're coming forward with this energy. Allow that ease and effortlessness, not push. We don't want to push this year. Nope, we had a lot of pushing last year, right? A lot of pushback, <laughs> but we don't want to push. We want to allow that ease and effortlessness. And we want to really get into the vibration. So I'm asking, instead of what is your word for this year, what is your vibration? What is that vibration that you want to bring through? And that's the imprint we want to bring in today. All right, maybe you associate it with the word. That's okay. And if you study any of David Hawkins, I love David Hawkins, you can look up and see where that word fits on that vibration scale. I meant to print it out and I forgot, but you can look it up. Just Google him. Letting Go, one of his latest, last books actually, really has that scale right in there. But really what I want you to do when we get into meditation is think of what that word is for you. And then how does that feel? Where's the subtle body? How can you hold that vibration as you move through the year? And so choose vibration to really resonate with this year for yourself. All right, you really have a choice to align however you want during this year. With love, love is big this year, compassion, even abundance. All right, I drew some cards this morning and every card was that really great abundant pentacle card. It's like, whoa, did I shuffle? I know I did, but it was great to see and that was really offering us a lot of choice and hope a lot of it for me as well as you guys too as I draw some of these cards. So what is it? What is it you're choosing this year to be that vibration? All right? What is it for you? All right, let's take a deep breath and let's move into the meditation. If you have any crystals, bring them in forward in front of you, especially if you have some selenite, because selenite really helps to hold that and cleanse out like a bowling ball, right? This is my earth. I mean, my moon, my world, my globe, just depending on where I want it to be in the meditation. Tonight, I want it to align with the energy of the moon as it shines down on the earth and hold that vibration for all of us. All right? So... Wherever you can, grab a crystal if you can and just kind of bring it around. I'm going to light some sage. Let's just open up to this meditation, aligning with this brand new energy. See it as new. See it as clean and white and clear, opening up to the visions. That's what we do for the winter. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth. 
Inhale, bring that breath all the way back up, up into the heavens. And exhale, bring that breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. Lining with the sound of the bowl, third eye, open it up. Inhale, let's call in divine spirit, our masters, our teachers, the archangels, and our own spirit guides. Exhale, send the breath back down, connecting with your higher guides. Inhale, bring up from the earth, up into the higher realms, and ask to be guided and protected as you open up to this brand new year. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking a moment and centering your energy, feel yourself connected with Mother Earth. Here we are in the season of winter, this beautiful, glorious first full moon of the year. And just imagine that beautiful glow of light above your own head as you align with this energy. Inhaling and exhaling and see the illumination of that light. As you bring the inspiration for your year, bring that vibration your word, however you want to look at it for you right in this moment, right into that third eye. How does that make you feel? And bring that awareness right into that energy imprint all around you. As you move through this year with that vibration, how will you feel? Charge the aura with those feelings. Inhaling and exhaling, dropping into the heart. And as you open your heart, expand that energy out. That's how we manifest. Send that energy out from the heart. And then release it. Let it go out into the cosmos as you ground your energy. And then feel that radiant light from the moon illuminating. Illuminating your light body. Illuminating your visions. Illuminating your vibration. Feel it right now. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel that energy all around you, charged with the light of the moon. And as tonight, if you can, you open up and you look and see the moon rising. Feel that alignment. Bring this presence back in as you align with that energy of your vision, your word, your vibration for this year. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale, feel the energy grounding you to Mother Earth, sending her some love with this energy, this vibration. Feel that presence of you between the Earth and the cosmos. Be that connected. Be that connected. Coming back, feeling your feet grounding on the Earth. 111, how about that? Opening back up. So yes, this moon, this month has so much going on. We start with a full moon. We end with a full moon, an eclipse full moon. We've got all that energy, new moon in between, all of that energy to really work with this year, to open up as we really, we start to create the circle of our life for this year. All right, so I'm using the animal cards. I will say that I do this with my daughter. I'll do this later. We draw one every year. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I love having them around. I love changing them at the beginning of the year, looking for that influence to come in. So maybe these animal cards can help you figure out how to stay in that vibration that you've chosen for yourself. So if you didn't choose a number, Hey, Kathy. Hey, Karen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you didn't choose a number yet, maybe you already did. Bring that intention into mind. I laid out eight, and we're going to move through them. Take a deep inhale and exhale. All right, if you drew the card, number one, if that's the one you chose, you chose the bat. All right, the bat is about rebirths. It's like the shamanic rebirth, all right? Look at that. The bat is about letting go of something, all right? It's time to let something go, all right? Perfect for coming into this new year, and maybe this is a great thing for you to use all year long, all right? It's a letting go. It's using that radar. It's hanging upside down, all right? Not holding on to everything in all the many ways you've done stuff. So as you go through the year, 
how can you change it up this year? All right, how can you change it up? Hi, Thelma, come on in. How can you change it up a little bit? Look at things from a different perspective and make those changes for you as you move through this light. You can always also look up these cards. Jamie Sands, medicine cards, love them. From my teacher, Catherine Barley, many, many years ago. All right, so that was the first card, the bat. The second card is the opossum. I've gotten this one before. Sometimes we want to go, no, not that. I understand. However, the opossum has a lot of great information for us. It really helps us in that protection. All right, right? Opossums play dead. <laughs> all right, now that you have to play, but observe. All right, don't give it all away at once. Watch from afar this year as you go through. All right, it's a protective card for you. Maybe you do need to play dead here and there, whatever. But really, it's more about strategy and instinct. So check in with that as you move through this year. Strategy and instincts. That's that intuitive ability, right? All right, the third card coming up is the bear. Perfect card for the winter, right, as we go through and start the year. All right, the bear is about introspective. It's about seeking the truth, all right, loves that sweetness of life, loves that honey, right? It's also about getting really silent and really working with your dreams, all right? Your dreams are really important, really important. Before we go to the spring, dreams right now are really important. And how can you see that energy for you as you go through this year? Maybe it's time to change up your dreams. Maybe it's time to follow your dreams. Maybe you've been fighting against that. So that's the totem for you. All right, the fourth card is the dolphin. All right, dolphin card. Here we go. Dolphin is a lot of fun. All right, dolphin is that breath of life, that intuitive ability, that mana, that Hawaiian mana energy, the water, the spirituality. It's also about being a mother to the earth. Right, and that communicating, that really that deep solar energy of communicating, really and playing, right? We all love to see the dolphins. They're highly intelligent, all right? So where can you find that energy if this is the card that you drew to use it this year? All right, the emotional energy as well. All right, fifth card. I'm taking a drink of water here. I get so excited. Hold on. All right, the fifth card is the porcupine. Interesting. If you drew this card, this is about returning to that innocence, the faith and the trust. This is about getting out of all that adulting. All right. Who doesn't want that card every once in a while, right? Getting out of all that adulting, getting out of that chaos, getting out of that fear, returning to the childlike innocence. All right. You know how porcupines can be like very, ah, put their spikes out there at the sign of anything really. Choose to allow, right? Really choose to allow that flow. This is what the theme is for this year. Choose to allow that flow of energy. All right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the butterfly card. We love the butterfly card, right? Well, most of us do. Maybe not. This is all about transformation. All right? This is about changing. This is about the cycle of life. All right? This is also that air and that mental cycle, right? Butterflies fly. Maybe you need to let go of the mental chatter. Maybe you need to let go of all the shoulds that you have on your life and transform and be free and fly away, all right? All right, I know a few of you that drew that card and you're probably going, yes, 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 right? This is exactly what this year is about, transforming that energy for you. So when you get lost, when you get in doubt, return to the image of that card, the butterfly. Look it up. Find out more about these totems. All right, we're down to number seven. Seven is the mouse. All right, seven is about scrutiny. All right, yay, yay, totally transformation, great. The mouse is about scrutiny, nitpicking. Now, sometimes that can be really, really good to look at all the details, all right? All the details. But sometimes we have to be careful not to nitpick. But mouses are very important, right? They can really help us out of tight situations. So we really need to honor that energy as well. So scrutiny is the word here. First yourself and then others. Are you giving your power away, right? That's what this card can come some, sometimes come to mean too. So don't nitpick, but do look at the details. Really important this year as you go along. Like sometimes we can look too much at the overall and not get into the details and get so excited. I know that one for sure. I have driven, I have drawn that one too, years past. All right, and number eight, a great card here too, is the hawk. All right, the hawk is a messenger. It's an observant. It finds the signs everywhere. So notice, notice the signs that are around you. Don't be in such of a hurry. Allow them to come forward. Very important as we move through this year. This is how you'll find that confidence to make those choices 
especially those big transformations. All right, Sean, I know you drew this one. All right, so look for the hawks in the sky. And as you do, notice when they come around. Notice the signs in your life. Very important. All of these are beautiful cards. All of these really are, and you can Google them. I think you can find the medicine cards in, in Jamie Sam's S-A-M-S on the online and Carson, C-A-R-S-O-N, to tell you more information about these cards. All right, I love to put them like as screensavers on my computer, my iPad, and I like to refer back to them, especially when I tend to feel a little lost in my life. Happens to all of us, right, as we move through our year. But a really great thing to come forward yet with. So Sean says, yes, perfect. Kathy says, so interesting. I chose the butterfly after that picture. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't get that at first. Definitely. Hi, Millie. All right. Hey, totally six. Yes, you're definitely in. I have you on my calendar. I will see you Sunday. All right. Definitely some great cards here. Some great meanings. I love the animals. They really help us just kind of step outside ourselves and look at the patterns that they offer us and the energy that they offer us too, definitely. So as you move through this year, a very important year, it really is, it's a master year, get into your spiritual practice. If you don't have one, I'm actually doing my new podcast is coming out. It won't come out um, till the 15th, but I've already been recording, so you'll be able to catch up, but some rituals to help you create that spiritual practice, and I'll have postings about that. Very excited to up my step, up my talk on the podcast. And really the theme for me is allow that energy to flow. And also the really big thing for all of us is to bring our spirituality out into the everyday life. Let's talk about it. Let's get it out there, right? If we don't talk about it, no one's going to hear about it. So talk about it. Bring it to work. Use your few moments of break time to breathe and to just really open your heart. Run your energy during break time. Draw a few cards. Bring some crystals, put them on your desk. Maybe they don't have to be as big as this, but place one or two by your computer on your desk and that will help you create that sacred space for you. Why, why do we wanna do this? More confidence, more clarity, more focus, right? The ability for you to step up your game and bring this work out to others and to raise the vibration. We gotta do it. We're one year down on number 45 and we gotta make those changes. Yes, we do. All right, guys, share this, put it out there. Join me as we help to raise that vibration for all humanity. Really, very important as we do. All right, I don't know if there are any other questions. Happy New Year, guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you for being in the group, for supporting this work, for taking a chance, for really, for practicing very important that we do this practice. Really very important. Hey, T. Hey, Millie. Glad you're back. All right. If you didn't draw a card, let me know before I, before I close here. Again, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Yes, join the circle. Find the information that you need. Ask for the information that you need. Let us support you in all that we're doing. Really, together we can make a shift I can't do it alone, so I'm calling for each of every one of you to stand up. I really am. I'm calling for you all to stand up with me. Get this work out there. Let's open up and make these shifts and changes. Ease and effortlessness this year. No pushing. Allow it to come forward. Just allow it to come forward. All right? Hey, T, how are you? T has a, a group she does on Fridays, card two. That was the opossum, all right? That was that observation, really looking around, playing dead sometimes and observing. All right, everybody, thank you. A, I will, I'll see you on Sunday. Guys, bring your energy together. Be a leader. Help those around you. Allow this change in our consciousness to continue raising. It is definitely time. Yay, thanks for the hearts. All right, we're gonna be taking this out into the world. Yes. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Get your crystals out for the moon tonight. Charge them with light, with love for all mankind. Put your intentions for you too. Don't leave yourself out. Open up to the vibration. It's a new year, a new you, a new path. Leave the rest beyond. Have a great afternoon. Eat some black-eyed peas. That's what we're cooking upstairs. And I'll see you soon. To your spirit. Namaste. Thank you.